Coming up on Tech Talk, I'm going to show you how to prepare your Mac for sale. That's coming up right now. Okay, this, this goes without saying, you have to back up all your data before you're selling your Mac. If you're going into a new Mac, one of the best things to do is use your time machine. If you don't know what that is, or go into your um, applications, open time machine, hook up a hard drive to it. If you have a time capsule, that's even better. And then you can do a very easily transition and migration to your new Mac. But in addition to that, I would use the time machine and I would still take another drive, whatever you have handy. I would back up all my files just to double make sure that I'm not going to lose anything. A little bit of redundancy saves a lot of headaches. Now it's time to sign out of all your iCloud based accounts. Let's start with messages. If you use that, go to preferences, go to sign out. And that pretty much does it. Now let's go to iTunes. What you want to do is deauthorize the computer. So open up iTunes, hit deauthorize. It'll ask you to put your Mac, your iTunes password in or your Apple ID and just hit deauthorize and then you're signed out of that one too. Take a second and then you're out. And lastly, you want to sign out of your iCloud and your iMac account. Go to System Preferences, go to iCloud, just hit Sign Out. It'll download all your information to a folder on your Mac and then you can move that to your backup folder that you're going to use to remove everything. And it'll still keep a copy in, the, in iCloud and you're done. Okay, now we're going to just restart the computer so we can reformat, erase the drive, and reinstall Mac OS so you can sell it or give it to somebody with a fresh operating system on it. Before your Mac restarts, you want to hold down the Command and R keys. Just hold them down, Command and R, and that will reboot you into the recovery mode, and you'll get this screen right here. When you get the utility screen, you want to go to Disk Utilities, and then you want to go to your Mac drive itself. By now, you should have disconnected any other drives to your system. In my case, it was my kitchen iMac, so that's what I'm going to reload. You don't, you don't want to go to the base system OS. You want to go to the main Mac drive. What you want to do is a secure, probably a secure erase, especially if you're selling it or giving it to somebody. And uh, you just rename it. In my case, I just renamed it iMac. Spell it right first. And then use your security options, how much security you want to do. It takes longer, of course, the, longer, the better secured you are. Then hit erase. And it'll take a little while, but it'll erase it. What it does is it writes zeros to the drive. And then once that's done, you want to go to the utilities menu and hit reinstall Mac OS. The good thing is you, do, you can leave your computer unattended. It'll take about 30 minutes to install Mac OS on your fresh drive. And you can just sit back and do whatever you want for about 30 minutes. Okay, once you've made it to this screen, you have successfully reloaded your Mac and it's ready for sale. So you don't want to put any other information on there. So just go to your computer and hold Press Command Q. And just shut it back down. And lastly, what you want to do is do a kind of a pretty good cleanup on it, of course. You want to clean it up a little bit for the next person. 
you want to repackage it. I'm going to say one thing on packaging. If you keep the original packaging in boxes, uh, especially with Apple products, they bring all the money when you're doing a resale. So always keep them. Sometimes it's a pain to store them, but try to do that. Then you can put them right back in the original packages. And I've noticed that I get uh, top dollar for any used, especially Apple products that I sell. So hope this helps. Thanks for watching and talk to you next time.